What's going on, man? We back on live again at another one of our properties we uh, picked up. Uh, put this video on YouTube a while back, but just uh, I'm gonna walk through another one of our properties, man, and just show you. This was a property that I, I, I was trying to uh, emphasize the fact of, you know, every deal is not a um, a major rehab. Some of them are just typically uh, cosmetic, and this is one. So we're just gonna walk in and and just show what we kind of done to this particular property. We out here in East Fort Worth. The last time, uh, you know, kind of showed the area where we're located right here off of Rainy Stop Six area, and uh, y'all might remember this property. Uh, but we're just gonna go inside and take a look around. This particular property, man, we picked it up off the MLS motivator seller. Ended up getting the property for about 20, 30 grand less than what than what they were actually had it listed for. Stuck to our guns. Turned out to be the higher bidder. And uh, I did a walkthrough before we actually uh, started on it. And this is kind of just a follow up to to uh, what this particular property looks like now. Prior to putting it on the market. Let's go take a walk through her and, and see what we got going on but for anybody who watched my youtube videos you kind of remember this property we had some guys in here working when we came in uh you know they was in here getting it on probably been about i would say maybe about three weeks two three weeks and i think we're not just a hundred percent complete uh i think we still got to get our electrician out here to uh to uh get our meter hooked up but uh needless to say the property is pretty much complete i would say 90 percent you know to to our standards as far as you know cosmetic type of uh property we didn't come in and move any walls or anything like that but uh you gotta excuse the the lighting you know kind of working my youtube and my my live here i don't think too many people done hopped on but you know continue anyway but uh and this is what i say on these type of properties where the margins aren't you know just super super high or where you uh you know can come in and pull 30 40 50 grand out of a rehab type of situation you know you just got to come in pick them up at a decent enough price uh you know stick with a, a minimal budget and and you know just make them real nice you know make them back livable uh, make them look clean, nice, you know, new ceiling fans, new carpet, new towel, the towel's been done, uh, uh, I believe this ceiling fan was already in here, uh, maybe both of them, uh, we didn't, the restroom we actually did, uh, I want to say we got new vanity, uh, I want to say the towel was already in here, yeah, I don't think we've done anything to the to the tub or the towel but uh kind of see you know our ladies came in and kind of did some little look mini staging you know some little mats and things make the homeowner or the potential buyer come in and kind of see what it you know could look like a little bit we ain't doing you know super staging with furniture and things like that just some little home appeal a little decor here and there but uh uh didn't do much to the kitchen, paint the cabinets. I believe even the hardware is still the same. Uh, you know, I believe we changed the floors. Um, you know, and this was kind of like a little shelving area, you know, kind of just mini pantry, turn to a pantry. Uh, let's see right here, because. This was actually kind of like a little TV area. I don't know what they've done when we left it apart. I kind of told my guy maybe we should tear it out. But then we got to thinking about, you know, uh, would it be any structural stuff or anything like that, which it's not. But uh, just kind of just went with the idea of keeping it the same. Uh, but like our electrician might have got some wires around here. We'll probably finish drywalling this. 
uh, get that closed up. But just kind of want to give y'all an idea when, when you know, we, we come into these properties, we're not looking to do a full rehab. No, we're not. We're just looking to make it look nice, clean, get some, uh, you know, some fresh paint, fresh smell going on. And we're trying to get in and out, you know. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get to the backyard. This property here uh, was one of those properties. There wasn't a whole lot that we plan on doing to it. And uh, just because of the resale value, you know, resale is not going to be super high. But you can still capitalize if you execute and stick to the plan. So just wanted to update y'all on this property. For those who watch my YouTube videos, you know that uh, this was a property we was at. Kind of seen the before and after. Uh, kind of right over here by Chase Bank. Rainy. Didn't do anything. The windows was already in. Siding was already done. We just painted it. Touched it up. And uh, let's see what we can sell this bad boy for. Y'all stay tuned. It's your boy, I'm a driver on the drive. AKA Mr. Money Man, AKA I'm an entrepreneur. Good day, y'all. Be blessed. And like uh, any other video, subscribe, like, tell me what you think. If you find any other, any other content useful or if you have any type of um, topics or anything that you feel as though I might can share some light on, hit me up, drop a comment, and just let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know, uh, share it, you know, for, the, for, for anybody who you think might be thinking about getting started in real estate, you know, and they might be following some of these people who are a little bit questionable. As far as uh, make everything look like it's peaches and cream, you know, I just try to deliver some real, uh, real life content. You know, what I do on a regular day. No, I'm not uh, after buying it you know, million dollar homes or anything like that, you know, and no, I'm not doing it on my own. I'm a single, uh, as far as my own established company, yes, I'm a single individual, uh, but I have partnered with company, with a company that I, I used to host sell properties to, and, uh, and, and that's where this uh, partnership on these type of deals come into play, so, uh, like I say, if you find it useful, hit me up, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see y'all on the next one.